my career is not an accident. Better than us, depending on where you're from and what you've been through. What's up, this is Troy Carter and you're watching The God Show. I'm a facilitator of dreams. I am not here to take you to your dream. Dim joints and focus. Oh, I'm focusing dim joints. What? 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 Yo, this is Big U. I just finished The God Show. What up, this Red Push, man. You're not tuned in with The God, God Show. Just poking the bell. Oh, oh that is hold on, hold on, hold on. That's my favorite turn. He's the master investor. Ian Dunlap, let's go. The roller coaster go up and it come down. A lot of them ain't prepared for it to go down. What y'all need to do, what you need to do, is tune into the guy show tonight. What show? Let me ask you a question. What are the top three mistakes that you see artists make? Um, in your experience. And the, the top three mistakes I see them make is before the deal or after the deal? Because it's two. It's two ways. Let's say after the deal. After the deal, the first mistake they make is now that they got money, they spend it like no, more money coming. Mm -hmm. Bruh, spend that dollar like that's your last dollar. Mm -hmm. Because it kind of is unless you get lucky and it works. Yeah. First thing. Second thing they do is when they get with the label, they become lazy. Now they got a they got a table of people here. Mm -hmm. They got a table of people it's here. It's part so of the process so of control. Like, you're yeah, going to yeah. handle my socials. Yep. You're going to handle my promo. And then they think, I can just go be a star. No, no. He's handling 75 people's socials. He's yeah. handling 75 people's promo. I know that because I worked at a label. Yeah. They, so you, so you, they, they, you're just one on the menu for them. Yeah. And this is the best up part. If three of your things work, those ever 72, we cool. Yeah. <laughs> hey, those three things <laughs> worked. Done. Yeah. So... The odds are against you. And I say the third thing is, is mm, they reach up instead of reaching over. Oh, I mm. like that. So every time you get an artist, it's like, I remember I was working with an uh, artist, big artist. He was pretty big. And he was like, I want Future on the song. And I'm like, why you want Future? Future don't want you. Mm. Future is a, he's a class ahead of you. Reach over. Mm. Like Jay-Z, DMX, they came up together. Yeah. Right? Ja Rule was around. They came up together. Yeah. Like, everybody else after that, if I give you a verse, it's a gift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm top it's of my class, lesson, right? Yes. Jay-Z ain't have to do a song with Nelly. He came seven, eight years before Nelly. Right. So reach over. Because if you don't reach over, then you're reaching up. And mind you, we're going to build. It's like compounding. We're going to build. Mm -hmm. Everybody, all the CEOs of all the record labels now are my friends. Mm-hmm. Tunji. I've that. been knowing Tunji, CEO Tunji of Def Jam, yeah, since yeah. he was a damn intern at Interscope. I've been knowing wow. fucking Aaron Bayshuck, who's the CEO of Warner, since he was director of A&R, working on fucking Cupid Shuffle at Atlantic. Mm -hmm. So, and I didn't even know I was building over. I just didn't think I had the right to reach up, because yeah, the right. people that was up treated you like shit. So yeah. I just built with my friends. And right. I remember I was at uh, ASCAP Awards one day, and if you go to ASCAP Awards... They have like they the way it was always it was like you know it was always like four levels but it was you know not high levels but like you mm -hmm. know three steps between each level and I remember I got in there the first year and it was like I'm on level four. I'm on the top I don't give a yeah. fuck I'm in the building they gonna marry Jay Blige yeah. then I got this second year and every, as years went on I was like damn and then it was that third or fourth year where I was like damn everybody on the floor is still on the floor. Mm. And I remember looking around and looking at all my peers and I'm like damn we all still we done all made it to the second level but. Them motherfuckers is still been there. The there. Entire time, mm. yeah. So I remember I just walked over to everybody who I was cool with, and I was like, they're not going to give it to us. We're going to have to take it. Mm -hmm. Period. Damn. They're not going to give it to us. We're going to have to talk. There's still not another puff. Why don't we have another puff, another Jay Z? Mm -hmm. Why don't we have another Why don't we have another artist making billions of dollars? Yeah. Why? Because they shut the door on us, and everybody was biting the bait. Mm -hmm. They were saying it. I'm going to be the next puff. Hey, motherfucker, I ain't saying shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he can kill you. Yeah, oh, you going to be the next me? Okay, yep. so I know I mean, what that means. You, you don't even know yeah. what made him him. I already know. I'm going to give you everything. You know how many people that came after Puff that got deals like Puff and didn't make it work? Yeah. It was at least 100. Yeah. It never works. Yeah. Because yeah. it's a trick. Puff, Puff was the machine. By the time he got with the machine, the machine, he took the machine to a further place. Yeah. But he also was... That's a great gem. Say that again? Puff was a machine. So by the time he got to the machine, he took the machine up. Most That's people want to be a part of the machine. Dog, you got to be the machine. Like, That's dog, this fire. is this this show is like a manifestation of me saying, we're going to fucking go. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We're going to be a whole bunch of delinquents. Tamira ain't never did this shit. I ain't never did this shit. The cameraman ain't there. Nobody <laughs> did this shit. I was like, we're going to figure it out. But yeah. guess what? If we figure it out every day 
Every day we're going to get better. Mm -hmm. And here's the best part. If we doing dope shit and shit going, and we ain't even figured it out yet. Yeah. Imagine what, what part we do. You get to figure out and what, what, what's your goal for the show? And well, your movement? well I, the crazy thing is I don't... We don't have my goal Still is on. my goal is now is to turn it up. That's why Don Vito came into my life. Because Don guy. Vito mm -hmm. was like, I was hanging out with him one day, and he was telling me how much he was making from his show. And I said, what? <laughs> he said, Hold the on. fuck? <laughs> hey, man, you, I, cause I'm going to be real with you. I didn't even look at it. I don't look. I didn't look at it like it was sexy. When I came to y'all event, yeah. <laughs> the motherfucker, and fourteen thousand people, yeah. and I was start, I was like, this shit is two years old. Yeah. Motherfuckers don't yeah. even know this. Yeah. But if you build it, they yeah. will come. And look, y'all in the music, it, like Vito. Why are you not listening to Vito? Between we listen that, to we Vito. We listen, oh, we listen, listen to Vito now. <laughs> we, listen. we listen to a lot of people, but if there is anybody as we soon listen as I saw, to, I saw what you, you was doing. It's Vito. I'm like, this shit is like CNBC before artists. Mm. Oh, like That's that. how I feel. So I'm like, now in my mind, mm -hmm. if I'm if I didn't like you and I was a competitor, my first thought would be, how can I help everybody that's an artist and get to as many viewerships as possible, so I can get to like two, three hundred million dollars a year autopilot. Mm. Cause they don't want the investment shit. Right. I gotta push and pull. <laughs> but if I'm like, yo, I can make you be the new Yachty, <laughs> new Ross. You sound like Davido. Davido. Sounds Davido. Good. No, Davido said we about to sell Dr something. Yo, I, said, I am down. We have to. <laughs> but my thing, but my thing, but my thought process is this: I am a dream artist. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what I mean by that, right? Because when I look for an artist, when artists come looking for me, I'm always like. I know what a dream artist looks like. Yeah. Well, what is a dream artist to you? He's he he or she Come. knows who their audience is, mm -hmm. makes music for their audience, yeah. constantly putting out music for their audience, yep. and constantly growing brick by brick. That's all I need. Because if you have those things, what percentage of people do that though? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> like but because my first thought is like, there's no more artist development, right? No. Right. Cut me in on it. Why is there not a Harvard or X Men Academy for artists? Because who's going to take it? These kids, they No, no, no. I, I disagree. Home. You're right. You're, you're 100% right. They want, right. They they want you, structure. Let me tell you, let me tell you my, I, my theory is, is that every... fast money. Maybe half of every young kid at some point in his life is going to be interested in being in music or around music. Mm -hmm. Or a star. Or Exactly. Every, I, think, I just think, yeah. even if it's just for a half a second. Yep. And my thing is, is that there, it's never been... There was always a, a gate up mm -hmm. where it was like, man... I wanted was behind the game. Yeah. And I'm gonna tell you something, I, I'm a manager first. That's what I did. I, I made all my money as a music manager, gotcha. right? And I remember I wanted to work, I was talking to this other manager, he was like, I got the next Beyonce. And I remember thinking to myself, how many motherfuckers say that? Mm -hmm. yeah. But there's only a few people that know what the real Beyonce is. Yeah. So I was like, man, I gotta go work for the labels. Cause I just need to know what they know. Cause they know something, and then guess what I figured out, bro? Mm -hmm. They don't know no shit. shit. <laughs> yeah, a lot of, yeah, they no, yeah, you'd be no, they know how to get into the building. No, no, yeah. no. The labels, the buildings. Oh, yeah. They don't know. Like so, the secret is here's a secret. The secret is, is that they have enough catalog mm -hmm. that pays the bills, mm -hmm. that gives them enough money to mm -hmm. constantly invest. And the only thing that's different from, between being at a major label and being independent is this table. Because here's the difference. If this table is what it looks like to be signed to a major, mm -hmm. that's the artist. That's the, that's the PR person. That's the digital marketer. That's the your marketer team. person. That's the, uh, you're, you're the uh, promo person. And we're all at the table, and we all know each other. So I know your weaknesses. I know your strengths. Mm -hmm. I know when to call you. I know. And here's the thing. Here's the CEO that y'all all answer to. Mm -hmm. So now I can, hey, hey, why you, why you didn't do your part? Yo, right. no, and you like, we all together. When you're independent, you in one room, you in one room, gotcha. you in one room, you in one room. So now y'all all, y'all all, all spinning me. Y'all, so. no, y'all spinning me now. Yeah. You like, hey man, I would have did my part, but the damn uh, PR person didn't have it set up. So now I'm like, but here's, here's the fucked up part. I'm paying all four of y'all 5000 a month. <laughs> so I'm yeah, fucked. So, fast, so, I'm yeah. fucked. so now the money yeah. runs out. Yeah. So I tell artists, don't spend a dollar. I look at everything like, everything is like a, a sexual interaction. No, real talk. Let me teach you. Let me show you what I mean that. Meaning, you can pay for sex, but it's not going to be the same as if she wanted to do it. That's a fact. So my yeah. thing is, why are you paying to skip the line? But I thought you had to pay 200000 to break a record and all that shit. That's a fucking lie. <laughs>